Hello guys, Dan here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about anti-aliasing and also anti-stropic filtering, also known as AA and just AF. Now first of all, as you can see, we've got some Fallout New Vegas on the screen, and what I'm going to be doing in order to kind of explain what anti-aliasing is, um, I'm just going to kind of toggle through the anti-aliasing settings, and on Fallout New Vegas you do get a lot, so you can have none, you can have two times, four times, all the way up to, I believe it's eight, and um, yeah, it does look good on eight. Now essentially, when you've got anti-aliasing on, um, your graphic card is working to reduce the um, visual um, kind of look, uh, which is generally called jaggies. And I mean, jaggies don't look too good in video games, and to reduce these it is really, really good. Now it does take some graphic card horsepower, but if you've got the horsepower, using anti-aliasing is really, really good. As you can see from me going up in, in the actual anti-aliasing settings, as you go up to say eight times, um, from not having anti-aliasing on, the game does look a lot more, you know, better. It, look, it looks a, a lot better. Now, essentially, anti-aliasing is just a method of super sampling. So, say if you've got anti-aliasing on, say, two times or, you know, four times or even eight times, there could be a possibility that your graphic card is actually rendering out some some kind of sections um, out at either 4K or 8K resolution, which, as you know, is a, you, you know, a big difference from, say, you know, just a normal resolution of 1080p. So anti-aliasing is a way of reducing jaggies, and as you can see, as we move up, the actual, uh, you know, stuff like the telephone lines here do look a lot more crisper, and also the grass as well um, looks a lot better. Now with the telephone lines, as you can see on eight times, um, they do look a lot more like telephone lines. When anti-aliasing wasn't on, you saw little um, kind of gaps in the telephone lines, and that's just due to the fact that the image was um, aliased and, um, yeah, that's kind of a bad thing, and now with anti-aliasing, as you can see, it's kind of improved. Now, just going through some other games, I, you know, did see some not noticeable improvements, not just in um, Fallout New Vegas, but also in Battlefield 4. Just some kind of some screenshots here, just to kind of show you. And as you can see, um, yeah, having anti-aliasing on does make the game look really, really good. But as I said, it does require some GPU horsepower to do so. Moving on to anisotropic filtering, essentially guys what this does and by having this setting kind of tamed up what you're essentially doing is again you are reducing aliasing which is all the weird kind of jaggies that you usually see but essentially what anisotropic filtering does is also improves um, the actual textures from say strange angles. Now whenever you look at something from an angle the texture doesn't look as clear um, say for example when you're just looking at the floor. So when you look at the floor, the texture looks nice, you know, you, you think, ooh, this game has nice graphics. But when you look kind of at a building in the distance, and fair enough, you're probably not looking at, at it straight on, the actual textures might not be kind of represented in the, in the way they're supposed to. And by turning the AF setting up, you are generally going to be getting better quality. Now, the, this is the steadiest typical image that you see, um, whether it be Wikipedia or, or just typing it in on Google, this is the image that you will see. And essentially, by turning the setting up, you just be, you're just kind of improving actual image quality um, uh, in kind of a game. And in this scenario, as, as you can see, it's kind of a runaway. The higher you turn it up, the more you can kind of see and the more um, that's actually in detail. So there we are guys, this video has been on anti-aliasing and also anisotropic filtering. Hope you've kind of learned what the both do and yeah, if you have the GPU horsepower I would recommend turning both the settings up. Probably not turning anisotropic filtering up all the way because I know that does kind of kill frame rates sometimes but anti-aliasing is something that I really do like in games, especially for it to be at least on four times and I'd say it's a good job Battlefield does have four times, I'd say. It would be good if that was on eight times, um, but some games just do not support it. I know Battlefield supports MSAA times four maximum, and that's exactly what I run. Shame that doesn't support eight, but you know, you know. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.